Hey everyone, Miss Stella here, Learn to Grow. Hope you're having a great day. We're going to be harvesting some potatoes. These potatoes grew from some of the ones that I left in the ground to overwinter last fall. And I did not tend to it much. I relied on the rain. Unfortunately, due to the drought, some of the plants died back prematurely and we ended up with a lot of baby potatoes. Here's the potato mound. And in the middle, I planted some Egyptian walking onion in hopes that it will help deter rodents and other animal pests. I still saw some potatoes that were partially eaten. Here are some that I dug up already. Let's walk over here and look for some more. Here are some plants that have died back. So there should be some here. Oh, here's one that I found earlier that has a green spot. You can still eat this potato, but remove the green portion. The green parts may contain solanine, which is toxic in high amounts. So it's best to avoid them. That's a nice size one. Before I forget this, I'd like to mention when to harvest your potatoes. Usually when the foliage, the plants die back and they turn yellow, that's when it's time to harvest your potatoes. As you can see, mine were left in the ground, but that's okay. It just gives them more time to cure and thicken up or harden the skin. Little baby potato that's mostly green. That's what happens when they're exposed to light. Best to keep your potatoes covered. potatoes it's about to get dark so I'm going to continue tomorrow there are a few plants or volunteer plants that have grown throughout the garden but here is today's harvest and one more pile over here here is one of the random potato plants that grew throughout the garden. Let's go ahead and dig these up. This is most likely a Yukon Gold. As you can see, the plant is not that tall. Didn't need much healing at all. Just mulch the base with some wood chips and yard debris to keep the tubers covered. I'm going to go ahead and use my garden fork and just lift. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and lift up the plant. A couple of baby ones in there. Oop, earthworm. This one is growing next to a blackberry plant. I'm going to go ahead and dig it up because some of the leaves have brown spots. Even though it hasn't died back, we just want to prevent that disease from spreading to other plants. Okay. I'm not expecting much from this at all. The plant is still immature. Oh, there's one here. And actually that's not bad. If this plant looks healthy, I'm going to leave that and let it mature. Completely brown. Most of these tubers grew right near the surface. When I saw the plant, I just mulched it with some straw. Go ahead and pull this out. Here's our summer harvest. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for joining me today. And let me know if you grew potatoes. Which variety is your favorite? Happy gardening.